Hey y'all, uh, I'm back. I'm gonna do the peach hibalokia. Um, I'm prepared this time for my last pot test. I didn't have a paper towel. Got me a paper towel. In case the paper towel gets soaking wet, I got me a rag. And in case I wuss out, I got me a cup of milk. And I'm probably gonna wuss out. like that um scorpion I ate on camera recently um people said I handled that real well but y'all didn't see the after effect on those things on camera it looks a whole lot different I can tell you my stomach killed me for two days so um I'm gonna cut out some seeds for this cause I've been wanting to grow this one so I'm gonna cut the seeds out of it Ain't that many in there. Let's see, just want to cut these seeds out. I might not can get them out. Heck, they don't want to come out. And normally I'd eat the whole pepper with the seeds in, but if I had some more of these, I only got one, and I want them to save seeds from them, because I want to grow this one next year. And it cleaned out that half. My camera's about to die on me. That's gonna suck if I had to cut this into two parts. But if I have to cut it into two parts, I'm sorry. Um, should have done ahead and did this, but I wanted to cut it open on camera. There just ain't seeds in the top corner. There's seeds all the way down this pod. I don't know if y'all have had a chance to eat this one yet. But things nice looking. And this is going to be my first experience with a ghost pepper too. I know it's on a peach hibalokia, but I ain't never even had a single hibal a peach. I mean a single ghost pepper yet. So there's this. I'm going to try to chew it up, but and um chew it up for like 30 seconds or whatever. But I do have a trouble with peppers going down. So I'm going to do my best. Hope y'all understand. So here's that. Hmm. Ain't nowhere near as hot as the um Maruga. I ain't even got the heat cups right now. They're liable to come at any time. There they are. I talk too soon. It's creeping. Mm. Oh. 
Oh. Dang, eyes are water. As y'all can see, I'm ga gagging. Pe fresh peppers don't go well with them. I like them cooked. Or in, like, pickle sauces, like, um, I like, like, pickled ones. Man, those things are creeping. Some of them tomatoes that we've been growing. Got a whole table full of them. Oh. Yeah, I was I judged it too early. I still don't think it's as hot as the Maruga. But damn, it's hot. Excuse my language. I wish people wanted to see us eat these things. Bell peppers. Oh, sweet peppers. It's peaked already. It's starting to go away. But dang, that was a ride. Now I just got that Andolfer one, whatever they call it, relish. I don't know if I want to review the other one now. The, um... Caribbean red, I think. Caribbean red. <sighs> mm. While I was chewing it up, it didn't have that much heat to it. It's not until I swallowed it that it started building. Now it's going back down as I can talk more. Nose is right up. Should have probably put gloves on. We're going to touch something important later and it's going to hurt. But I have found something that helps get that stuff off your hands. Dawn dishwashing liquid. Apparently, I don't know why, but that stuff right there, it works to kick the capsaicin off your hands. You could cut them things up all day and wash it off with that stuff, I think. Yeah, there's virtually not hardly any heat right now. Um, just a sting. It it it, it, it wasn't that bad. I had a, had a pretty good pepper flavor, but like I said, I really don't like the taste of a pepper. I like the heat of a pepper. I like cooking with them. I don't even like eating bell peppers raw. I like cooking them. I like them in cooked stuff like omelets or stews or stuff. But as far as jalapenos go, I like them pickled. I like them in the vinegar pickled. I sit there and eat them things like candy. Huh, my family, they think I'm weird because I can sit there and eat them jalapenos and they're over there burning up. And I ain't got no kind of heat. Um, from them. <sighs> Thanks, Todd. Appreciate it. I'm gonna dry these seeds out, and I'm gonna try to grow them next year. I'm about to go. Like I said, there ain't no heat. To it. I didn't even have to touch the milk. It's gone now. All I'm doing now is trying to clean these seeds up. And get them ready to dry. Thanks again, Todd. Y'all need to check out his channel. I got a link to his channel in my other video I just put up of the state sauce. I'll see y'all later. Rate, comment, subscribe, tell me what y'all think.